So, Will, we are going to unpack. I'm telling you what we're going to unpack because you don't know what we're going to unpack. <laughs> this is for the Nash. Um, we've got a there foil to play with. Nash S25 jet highest ratio 1400 with a 75 centimeter mast, I'm guessing that is. Cool, cool. So what um, are you doing with this? This is going to be played around with um, over a few weeks and we're going to use this also on the Nash Hover inflatable ice up foil board that we've got. Nice. Want to see if it makes a bit of difference having a Nash foil on it or? Well, just, well I'm going to use it with a few, a, few, a few foils and what it's designed for to make sure that the foils fit in the inflatable board and I'm desperate to get on one of these as well see what one of these is like this brings us back to the old days of us unpacking a, a Nash foil remember yeah. we um, came in nice oh nice little top entry on the bag there lovely oh that's nice oh that's nice I do like these, these bags I tend to leave my foils all attached together but it's nice that you get something like this oh that whole thing comes out oh oh so you could just take that if you want to yeah. that's nice and a fuselage in here i think and uh what um screwdriver bit is it is it torques now so i'm just mm. yes yeah, torque it's all torques and you get a nash torques driver like that. cold Nicely made, isn't it? Yeah. Have you noticed that the fuselage shape's totally different from. Mm, nice. This is great. I love this stuff because that is what you want. When I'm foiling, I just want something to put over the wing. Stop trashing it. Ooh. That's cool. Ooh, that's smart, isn't it? It's like, a, it's like carbon fibre chop strand mat. That's weird. I'm sure it's better than chops around that. But. <laughs> it looks very smart. Leave it there, yeah. Let's have a look at that for a minute. That is a. Uh... Guys, graphics, I love that. Yeah, Nash have always got good graphics on their stuff, haven't they? Straight away, I felt it's a pretty thin wing, isn't it? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. It's cool. It's different. Nice. Um. Right there. See what else we've got in here. Yeah, so that is. There you go. How long is this mast? 75 centimetre mast. Hey! Um, nicely finished. And yeah, with the um, open open heads and closed as well. So that's. I like that. Actually, it's quite light. It is quite light, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice having that system on there, isn't it? Then you've got a lot of a adaptability but it's still oh, easy to use that is funky looking that is funky it looks like a boomerang <laughs> it's one expensive boomerang that will not come back <laughs> yeah wow all right so are we gonna build it or yeah yeah build it let's build it, build it and then and then we can um <laughs> cut do you want me to cut this and we just build it ding it's done Nice joint. I tried cleaning my fingernails out. I've got some comments and my fingernails weren't clean enough. Did you? Yeah, it's because I've been fixing my, my broken car. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry I don't look clean. Personal, <laughs> Personal hygiene. Oh dear. You get into the stage of that sort of YouTube where you get told off your fingernails aren't clean. Ugh. I think it was on Instagram actually. Oh. For the cool kids. <laughs> cool kids. <laughs> All right, that's on there, nice. So the fuselage definitely got a little nice bit of, I don't know, feature molding there. I think this will feel quick. Okay, that's all on. Now you just got to put your boomerang on the back. Let's see the angle of the tips, look. So, we did we've been doing we've been using a few sort of 1500 foils and we um the axis we were using 50, about 1500 it's yeah it's a nice sort of small wave or uh or winging sort of sort of like high performance winging foil yeah seems to work quite nicely 
Um, the areas always seem to be a bit smaller and they work they work fine at smaller areas, don't they? Do you say? Yeah. So 1400 is going to be, you know, it's going to be a good size for me or you in relatively light winds, not not big waves. Probably our go-to size yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wing for most yeah. sort of conditions, really. So I, I use a 1600 most of the time, which is a, sort of an all-round wave wing and this, uh, but then then you're using a what, a 17, 1800? 1800, but that's just for lighter, yeah. And, but uh, I think for average waves, I think this is average waves and wind, this would be it. Yeah. If I was going to pick one, probably would be that. 14, 1500, yeah. Yeah. It would be nice to compare this to some of the other stuff we've got coming as well. We've got some Armstrong stuff coming. Yeah. So there you go, it looks nice. How heavy is it? Done. Done. She clear. I think it's quite light actually. Get in there. There you go. 3.75 kilos, I think that was. What's that in pounds? You just... 8.26 pounds. Nice. Okay, yeah, it looks nice. And packaging was pretty good as well. Just cardboard box. Yeah. Yeah, I do like the look of that stabiliser, like but Will I just said. I think one of the things that's worth chatting about with this is that some of the bolts, some of the bolts to attach it to the the board came in a plastic bag, which is, you know, you've got to put them in something. You could put it in a paper envelope. But the way this came packaged is all the bolts, rather than being a plastic bag, they were just screwed into their components. So yeah. that just straight away removes the need to have a plastic bag. So that's just pretty simple. And um, it's obviously possible because this has been shipped with it. So yeah. um, I think quite quite a good good thing to be doing, maybe. Yeah. Um, all just makes... Only one, only one small bag. Just makes a... It all makes a little a difference, doesn't it? All makes a difference. Right, I think we should maybe. It's a cold day today, but maybe we'll try and get out in the water and uh, give that a go this afternoon. If we can squeeze that in before it gets dark. Okay, see you later. Bye.